welcome to my channel on this channel I talk about keto lifestyle and Disney um, in this video I want to talk about how I lost over 100 pounds doing the keto diet okay first of all disclaimer I'm no nutritionist I'm not um, you know a doctor or anything like that I can only speak for what worked for me now my journey started over a year ago I started researching um, the keto diet um, to me it looked crazy eating fat to lose weight seemed ridiculous to me but during my research I realized that this might work um, I looked up um, macros and what to eat um, I did so many YouTube videos I researched I went to the library and I came across you know macros and um, what worked for a lot of people so I thought I would try that um, I started off downloading the carb manager app um, and I set that app to 70% um, 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 fat 25% protein and 5% um, carbs and most of those carbs came from green leafy vegetables like broccoli and um, salad greens and collards and things like that um, first of all I wanted to lose weight I wanted to be a better wife and a mother to my kids and going the way I was going was not working um, I, had, I went to the doctor and I stepped on the scale and I was almost 400 pounds and at 35 years old was unacceptable to me so I decided to get on this journey um, it, it was I, I will say it was very hard um, it wasn't easy it wasn't easy to just um, give up carbs and sugar at the same time and along with that I gave up smoking um, it was awful um, but I did it and um, I felt that it was something I had to do um, I was tired of, of living overweight I had tried everything um, Jenny Craig um, Hello Fresh uh, Weight Watchers and just nothing nothing seemed to work until I found keto um, here is an example. I'm gonna post an example of what I ate um, for the first couple of weeks, and I kind of just mix those up. Um, for breakfast, I would have um, coffee uh, with some kind of fat in it, and, um, heavy cream of some sort. I couldn't do butter. Um, I couldn't do that. I couldn't stomach that. But I did a lot of other things, as far as um, heavy cream whipping cream with no sugar sugar-free creamer and things like that to give uh, my coffee a taste and on the days that I didn't drink coffee I would eat like um, eggs and bacon or sausage or something like that along with maybe a couple berries um, not not really too much So for breakfast, like I said, I would either drink some keto coffee or have like some bacon and eggs or some days I would have bacon and some days I would just have eggs. It all depends on how I feel, but I try to, to keep my fat up and my protein moderate and my carbs very, very low. Um, for lunch, I would either skip it or I would have a salad with some kind of meat. Sometimes it would be a light meat, salmon or tuna and sometimes it would be a burger on top of some lettuce i just made sure that i didn't eat any bread of any sort sort so that's what i would do if i didn't skip that that's what i would eat a light lunch for dinner i would have basically the same thing meat and vegetables i made it really simple i found out that a lot of people um you know they quit because they were researching the different recipes and they didn't want to um, cook all this elaborate food and uh, my best advice is to keep it simple just eat just meat and vegetables that's what I did um, and that's all you have to do you don't have to be this elaborate person that's just in there baking bread and 
making keto pasta and keto pizza dough is not that serious especially at the beginning you want to focus on eating your fats and um, low on carbs you don't want to focus on what recipe that you have to make or what grocery list that you have to create because that's gonna make you not want to do it um, another advice I could give is to make sure that you are strict um, a lot of people think that keto doesn't work for them because they would do keto you know two days a week and then say well I can do since I was doing good for those two days the next couple of days I can do low carb keto and low carb does not mix it's either gonna be all keto or all low carb it's just not gonna work you can't um, you know get your body ready fat adapted and then all of a sudden throw carbs because then your body is not fat adapted it's gonna be like a sponge and it's gonna suck up all the fat so all your hard work is just not gonna it's not gonna matter um, and that's why I think a lot of people fail. Um, some of my family and friends that try, I really think that it doesn't really work for them. Um, and um, the way that other that uh, that it works for others is because they just don't follow it. They just do it for a couple of days and then they give up. And my advice is just to don't give up, to keep going. It's it's gonna work. Um, and don't compare your results to everybody else. Yes, I lost over 100 pounds and it took over a, a little under a year. And at first it was really fast. And at this point now, I feel like it's like really slow. I'm losing like two to three pounds a week. And a lot of people will say that's, that's ridiculous, but that that's a lot. But losing 10 pounds in one week at the beginning is a big difference. So my advice to you is just to keep it simple, keep up with it, and um, you can do it. Thanks guys for listening, and I hope to post another video Wednesday on what I eat in a week.